conversations with our queens from across the world. They are entertaining, educating, with tons of passion. Welcome to the show, Queens Forever. Global Namaste and a very warm hello to all the beautiful souls across the world. A girl changing the world, one rhinestone at a time. She who leaves a trail of glitter is forever remembered. And so are our beauty queens. I'm going to take you all the way to Singapore today to introduce you to our queen of Mrs. Bharat Icon 2018. She's the one who believed in doing her best and, of course, ruling the world with her beautiful heart and at the same time believing in all the values of integrity, humbleness, and love. Let's welcome Sheetal Sharma, our queen at Mrs. Bharat Icon 2018. And at the same time, on behalf of Indus TV Global, River Comics, V International, it's time for us to meet yet another beautiful, gorgeous, supremely talented queen who's also a classical dancer. Hi, Sheetal. How are you doing today? Welcome to our show, Queens Forever. Namaste, Samranji. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me here. It's, it's a, definitely a pleasure to be here and to introduce myself in front of people who are loving Indian culture and arts. And I'm doing great. I'm, I'm on the top of the world. So thank you so much for having me here. We need to thank Mr. Akhil Bansal for making it possible for all those beautiful girls and married women to be a part of the beauty pageant, Bharat Icon. So, Shita, when was the first time you ever decided you wanted to wear the crown and become a queen? So, to be very honest, I never thought and tried uh, for it. It just happened to me by my Kanaji's grace. And uh, since I was seven years old, I'm on the stage and performing Kalta and Indian folk dances and Bollywood dances. And during my bachelor's, uh, I also got award for a best uh, fashion walk and best model of the university. And the jury himself actually offered me a couple of projects. And it actually given me a confidence that, you know, I mean, I, I can go for some beauty pageants as well. And then life happens and I got the opportunity to know about this uh, Bharat Icon pageant. And yeah, I have enrolled for that. And uh, I think jury appreciated all my performances and I won the crown. Oh, beautiful. So which was that? Last question, where you won the crowning glory, which is a question, you know, where everyone is absolutely on their toes trying to be their best, which was the last answer that you gave to that jury question, which won you the crown. All right. So if you ask any pageant girl, they will tell you that the hardest part of any pageant is the final round interview question and answer round. And definitely it happened to me as well. But I was very prepared that, you know, whatever questions will come to me, I will just provide my ears and I will understand what they are asking. So the question was asked there for me is, what if I turn into a male once I get up in the morning? And that was very uh, imaginative question. But uh, I took the opportunity to, you know, uh, give a statement to my husband and even all the men in the world that if I turn into a male, First thing I will do that, I will go to all the women of the house, whether it's mother, sister, wife, my daughter, and I will hug them and tell them that you are doing wonderfully great for our lives and um, we cannot do anything without you. So thank you so much for, you know, having, uh, thank you so much for being in our lives. Yeah. Wow, I do remember you replying this question live. Right now it strikes me, Sheeta. So wow, that is phenomenal. And I think... Uh, it was very special the way you spoke at that point of time because this is not a regular question, not an easy answer to that you gave. So kudos to you for that. Sheetal, uh, let's get started with how did you prep up for the pageant? You've been a part of the Mrs. Bharat Icon family. It's not easy with all the experts and, of course, with all the co-contestants and at the same time, your beautiful sister queen from around the world who are a part of this pageant. How did you really prepare yourself? So if we all know there's a lot of hard work goes behind a 
behind winning a, any beauty pageant title and i always feel that my heart should be in the game so i can be more focused to do my best and win it as uh, and if i can say as part of the preparation the contestants do uh, should do research about the beauty pageant because uh, not all the beauty pageants are alike and what i did i researched the past crown winners of bharat icon and the types of rounds they have participated in what they have performed in the talent round and which jury members were there it really helped me to get a clear picture of the pageant round and a flow chart to work on before i go into the pageant rounds so yeah i did that kind of preparation before my pageant oh wonderful uh, you know shital as we all know that we look forward to that platform and of course you've got this brilliant platform you know of being a part and at the same time winning the crown and a queen yourself so of course we always love getting into the film world of films and television and of course as i know that i read it somewhere that you were very keen to be an actress and be a part of the television world <laughs> so do you know of anyone who's going to help you and show you the path of course and give you a kick start and welcome you in the world of television so it's a privilege to tell the name of this person i it's very respected person uh, this is mr bharat ji he is a international promoter uh, for bollywood uh, in usa and i got the golden opportunity to connect with him and to know about him more so yet he like he is very uh, well popular and very well recognized across the globe for bollywood industry but yet very down to earth and humble person so i'm really uh, grateful for bharat ji to you know i mean to be in the touch and to guide me for my future uh, career aspirations so i'm going to give you yet another opportunity of meeting him here right now right away let's welcome our number one promoter of art and culture in the united states and across the world mr bharat goradia welcome to our show queens forever hi hi simran how are you Beautiful, so happy to see you here, Bharat Ji. You are a shining yes. star, and wherever you go, you carry the brightness around. So, thank you for being here with us. I am shining only because of the two beautiful babies are sitting right in front of me, sharing the screen with them. That is why I am reflection of both of you. <laughs> so, first of all, to all the viewers of Indus TV, uh, Namaskaram, Simran Ji, Namaste, and uh, Sital Ji, you are an international personality. So, global Namaste to you. and uh, uh, it is indeed my pleasure and privilege to welcome you on behalf of our sponsor river comics indus tv we international uh, to one of the finest talks of all time called queens forever a very very hearty welcome to shital ji and uh, so sweet of you to come all the way from singapore for this wonderful interview and uh, of course you have expressed in one of the interviews that you wanted to join television industry and yes television industry is a very very big industry now booming industry because of the and right now you can see amitabh bachchan sarukh khan salman khan every you star is on the tv and of course you are one of the most outstanding multi talented powerful personality we have so uh, like uh, i i i i have never come across or one of the very few who was so multi talented meaning an international model then a title holder then classical dancer then a dance choreographer then uh, of course actor then a stage artist then a, a professional in marketing oh my god what not i think everything in one you are a beautiful package and television industry would be uh, really really happy to have in their fold so it's a pleasure for me and of course to all the uh, television industry also to have you in their fold so very hearty welcome once again on queens forever Thank you, Balaji. Thank you so much for having me here. Pleasure is mine, dear. Why? Wow, that was really wonderful, and we all love the beautiful screen, the small screen and the big screen. I want to see you guys back again in our show right after this very short commercial break.
him back and we are here with Sheetal Sharma, all the way from Singapore, and we are coming at your doorstep, taking you to Singapore. So what is the best thing about your country, Sheetal, that you like to tell your sister, Queen, if they ever come to Singapore and they would like to travel, which is the best place? Where would you like to take them around? All right. So first thing, I would like to welcome uh, all the people in Singapore because Singapore is a mix of uh, different stuffs. Like it's, it has a country jungle, but yet they have a beautiful green landscapes. And it's very really warm uh, country. Uh, I mean, in terms of weather, obviously, and in terms of uh, warm people as well. But in 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 case if you are planning your trip to Singapore, you must visit uh, uh, nearly to November to January. That's the best weather to visit Singapore because it's quite humid here. And if you ask me best places, it's a lot actually because it's well designed country. Uh, we have gardens by the bay, we have Marina Bay Sands, we have Marina Barrage, we have Sentosa, we have Universal Studios, we have uh, a lot of islands. So yeah, it's a mix of everything for everybody. And uh, please let me know if you need more uh, understanding about Singapore before you land here. So the world is waiting to be there at one of the most beautiful, beautiful countries of Asia. Um, Shital, tell us a little bit about your experience during the time of the pageant. You'll have three days where you'll get your grooming and of course you're a part of this brilliant togetherness of all the queens. What are the challenges you face and what is the best part of the pageant that you enjoy yourself? Sure. So uh, before going to the pageant, I understand and learn that the beauty pageant is not a walk into the park. It's It really requires a lot of effort, determination, discipline and positivity. And with this mindset, I went fully prepared and confident and even though a few times I got a bit uh, nervous, I was able to bring back my confidence very quickly. And I made my mantra to perform throughout the pageant, which was be the better version of yourself all the time and feel like you're already a winner. So I, I face a bit of nervousness during, you know, uh, sometimes like maybe interview questions around. But uh, yeah, because I was prepared, so I was confident to handle and perform during the all during all the rounds. Well, that's interesting. And tell us a little bit about all the fun and you know great aspect you had with your sister Queen again and of course with the groomers and with Mr. Akhil Bansal, you know, the founder himself, who also uh, gives you that brilliant kickstart at the pageant, encourages you, motivates you to be your best version. What was the most happiest part of being a part of the pageant? I'll start with uh, Akhil Bansalji, who actually organized the beauty uh, the beauty pageant Mrs. Bhatai in 2018. And I'm really grateful for this person. Uh, it's not because I'm giving the interview, but he is the very humble, very down-to-earth person. He's kind of fatherly figure to me. And he always uh, took care of all the contestants there because they are, he understood that the, the women are coming from different nations uh, in Mumbai. So he took care of everybody very nicely. And uh, he actually made us comfortable, whatever issues we had, he allowed us to speak to him. So that was a great uh, experience working with him. And uh, if you ask me the best part of the pageant, uh, to be very honest, this was truly a world class experience, which uh, uh, while participating with uh, candidates who got selected from different nations, uh, it was challenging, yet the best part of the pageant was that we all contestants got an interesting forum to interact, learn and exchange the knowledge. And having a cheerful and fun-filled uh, environment, the only outcome one can expect is self-improvement and um, confidence, the self-confidence. Beautiful. Sheetal, um, you know, since you got an opportunity, I'm going to definitely make this official announcement of inviting all those beautiful kings and queens for all those who feel you already won to be a part of this brilliant pageant coming your way. That is the Bharat Icon Pageant by Royal Heritage Group. If you want to be a part of it, yes, you can send in your entries now. And uh, Sheetal Sharma has already been our winner from Singapore. But for now, it's time for us to thank River Comics, Indus TV Global, Be International for making it possible for all of us to meet our queens our queens, 
who are beautiful inside out, our queens, who know how to do the best, be the voice for all those who definitely need, and at the same time, be the one to showcase their talent and, of course, to look after social issues and causes. We're going to talk about the social cause that Sheetal worked on, but right after the super short commercial break. See you guys soon. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for V International Founder, President, Chairman, Mr. Bharat Goradia, Bollywood star. Guradia with legendary singers from Indian music industry. He believes in spreading smiles over everyone's faces. Sports champion. The Dada Sai Falki Award and Bharat Gaurav Pride of India Award winner Mr. Bharat Goradia has been innumerably awarded across the globe for his outstanding work in the field of promoting Indian arts and culture all over the world. Hey guys, welcome to the show Queens Forever. And we are here in our last segment. Sheetal, as we always say that, yes, it becomes comparatively easy for an artist to do something, go out there and be a part of humanitarian work. You've been a classical dancer, a performer since a very early age. And at the same time, you know, being sure that you rule the stage. What is your social cause that you worked on? Because I remember you scoring maximum marks because it's always beauty with a cause. Tell us a little bit about the cause you worked on, about the great humanitarian work. You, of course, at the same time, fared well in and you are still continuing to do so. So, um, first of all, I want to talk about the beauty pageant. So, to me, the beauty pageant is not just about the physical appearance, but a wonderful combination of the inner beauty of mind and soul. And the beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself and to connect truly with the noble causes across the globe. So I'm working for social awareness for on girls' education, as well as uh, Clean India, Green India, which is Swachh Bharat uh, Abhiyan in India. And uh, for that, I have established a brand called Giffin Agitalent. It's my academy registered in Singapore and Australia. And... Uh, Whatever earning I'm getting out of that 2% I'm donating for the girls' education in India. And I have adopted two girls in India. I mean, they are with the parents, but the parents are not able to afford their education fees. So I'm paying for that. And it's just by God's grace I'm doing. I'm not doing a very big thing, but I'm on the path. I'm on the right path to do continuous service for the girls' education because I believe if the, the girls are educated, the society will be educated because... The women are the architects of the society and I feel privileged to become the voice of women and to contribute to such social causes that empower and motivate women and every Indian for that matter. Ah, wonderful. What are the attributes you think, according to you, Sheetal, that one must possess and start working on? You know, because it's not a matter of three months. We do have beauty queens who prep themselves up you know, just for three days, could be for three months or for three years. So what do you think are the attributes they need to work on? Because after marriage, uh, you know, you need to balance your life well. And at the same time, give yourself all the time that you have, all the energies that you have, you know, to be a part of a pageant. So tell us a little bit about all those guidance for all the married women on balancing their lives and working on themselves to be a part of the pageant. I believe that being natural, confident and smiling and creative is the most important attribute one should have in the present era and be prepared. I mean, the future, uh, I mean, I want to give advice to the future queens is please be prepared before going for any pageant. Practice and practice is the only key to become successful. 
learning from the masters and closely um, observing their work is what trains you best and i want to say all the future queens is always walking confidently and crowning with a smile on your face is what wins you all the competitions and hearts be it pageant or life beautiful that's a great guidance and uh, thank you for giving that great tip to everyone and of course letting everyone be the best version of you and this brings us to the rapid fire round and we have with us our mrs bharat icon queen sheetal sharma from singapore sheetal do you like having tea coffee or juices what is your preference for a drink all right so that depends on the uh, like when i'm starting it's if it's a day then i start my day with the juice and i just i love my ginger indian ginger tea that i take around 4 o'clock yeah but i'm not a coffee lover i'm very basic girl so i love my indian ginger tea and all the fruit juices the fresh one yeah the first thing you did after wearing the bharat icon crown once uh, i got this golden opportunity to wear a winning crown i was i mean it was a mixed feeling because i was bit emotional i was very happy obviously and um, i was feeling very proud very proud because i was preparing for this pageant and in the initial days of pageant uh, i started feeling that i'm already a winner and that actually gives me immense kind of confidence and definitely i thank to my god my krishna and the best thing i liked during my crowning moment was to see faces of my family members they were so proud and happy and especially my parents because they got a bit emotional so yeah i mean it, it was a wonderful uh, mesmerizing moment for uh, for my uh, life which beauty queen has been your inspiration your all time inspiration i i must say the name of priyanka chopra jones priyanka chopra was named among the 100 most influential people in the world and she was also honored with padma shri so she has done a lot of tremendous work uh, in the field of peta and uh, talks about environmental con- uh, conservation and also she often speaks up for equal pay and uh, women's empowerment she is also the unicef goodwill ambassador for child rights and has promoted child rights and education which i'm also trying to do uh, do a bit of part from my side so i really uh, follow uh, priyanka chopra's footprint and i really get inspired by all the work she has done for the society your favorite color for the evening gown round blue is one of my favorite colors for pageant gowns because it projects immense confidence and class and when i wore a blue gown i felt that i'm vibrant precise level headed and powerful and in my mind blue reads future leaders and visionaries so i like blue color evening gowns for pageant shita do you like to accentuate your eyes more or your lips all right so i think um, i used to often listen that i speak with my eyes and i feel that eyes is the door for anybody's soul so i really like to make my eyes more powerful more creative so people can uh, understand and connect with me in a better way so i like to do a light i'm not a very makeup kind of person but i prefer a kind of grooming and i prefer to have a clean skin clean face so yeah in terms of makeup i'll do the a bit of eye makeup to make it more classy your favorite travel destination in the world oh okay actually i'm a travel freak and i travel a lot but uh, in terms of emotions i feel like to be in india especially my hometown in the armed madhya pradesh and uh, yeah i mean i just been there and if you know it's the cleanest city of india and it's keep winning the uh, this title the cleanest city of india it's a sixth time they won it and i really feel the difference so whenever i go to indore i feel like very nostalgic and at the same time very proud about my city so indore is my favorite destination three things you always carry in your bag all right uh, i always carry not in the bag but i always carry confidence and smile on my face and if i talk about my bag it's the uh, goggles a hat and a rose water well answered a lovely queen mrs bharat icon 2018 sheetal sharma sheetal my very very 
amazing, some question which is very, very close to everyone's heart. They always say, once a queen, always a queen. You're a queen forever. Do you believe in this and why? Well, once a queen, always a queen. I, I believe every woman, in every woman there is a queen because she knows how to govern herself. We women make the world come alive. We make the world colorful. We are the inspiration behind all that happens. And we are the pillar of strength to many around uh, people and the centrifugal force of a little world called family. So women are the architects of society, as I said earlier. So I believe, yes, once a queen, always a queen. And every woman is a queen in some or other way. Beautiful, well answered. And we have a very special question for you, Sheeta Sharma, for which I'm going to once again invite our number one promoter of art and culture across the world and the United States of America, Mr. Bharat Bhuradiyaji, to ask you this final, very amazing question. Hi, Siddhal, how are you? Giving wonderful <laughs> answers to Simran here. <laughs> one queen to another queen. Uh, Sital, I have a very interesting question to ask you. Uh, if given the opportunity to go on a date with any celebrities of the world, whom will you go, where will you go, and what conversation you will have with him? So if I get a golden opportunity to go on a date or meet a celebrity from my country, I would go with uh, Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudevji. And the reason is very obvious. The world knows about him and... He's a perfect blend of spirituality, logic, positivity, and social entrepreneurship. So I'm meeting with him and getting answers to some of my silly, realistic, unrealistic questions would help me to be a better version of myself. And uh, if I can say about another celebrity, which is very respected celebrity for me, I would go with uh, Svaida Rehmanji. I have a tremendous love and respect for her work, and she's among the finest actress in Hindi cinema. She is a legend, yet a very humble down to earth celebrity. She won many prestigious awards, recognition, and at the age of 81, she turned into a wildlife photographer. She is very passionate and unstoppable. I want to spend time with her to know life's experiences, do's and don'ts to live a happy and meaningful life. And I'm sure the date with Vaidaji will help me to be more lively and passionate women. And one more interesting uh, point to mention here is she's my husband's favorite female actor as well. So I want to really, really meet her. Kya baat, kya baat, kya baat. Wow, what a wonderful, amazing, outstanding answer you have given. Uh, I'm very happy that you have uh, mentioned Vaida Remanji because very rarely people, but she is, of course, I totally agree with your husband and your choice of Vaida Rehman. She is a living legend and has done wonders to Bollywood and especially Indian film industry in South as well as in Bollywood. So I really appreciate your choice uh, and your husband's choice too. <laughs> anyway, on behalf of our sponsor, River Comics, V International and Industry, we thank you so, so very much for sparing your valuable time, sharing your experiences and giving best of the tips to all the young ladies who are married and giving them the uh, tips, the outstanding tips, the successful tips, how to become a winner, a beauty pageant. Age is no bar. You can win the uh, any competition of the world at any age. What is required is just the self-belief, the courage, the conviction, the never give up policy, and above all, hard work, hard work, and hard work. So success will be with you. So thank you so very much for giving these wonderful tips and wishing you all the very best in all your forthcoming projects and see you very, very soon, I think, in India at Indore with Vaida Rahman. <laughs> thank you so very much. A humble thanks to River Comics, We International, Inbox TV Global, and to Mr. Bharat Goradia at the Bharat Icon World. Thank you for being here with us, all of you, in this wondrous show, Queens Forever. Please feel free to share this with all your loved ones because you have no idea whose life could change forever. What are you waiting for? It's time for us to take you in yet another episode to introduce you to yet another brilliant beauty queen in this world. Thank you to all our queens for making our lives colorful just like River Comics does. Sheetal, is there something you'd like to tell everyone? So whoever is listening to me, watching to me, I just want to say that the world is beautiful. So the people should be beautiful around you. So 
start with you start with yourself start putting best of thoughts best of your karmas and you will see definitely a wonderful colors in your lives so be the best version of yourself do your best and please be kind to your surroundings to your people and it was a wonderful opportunity to connect with uh, rear comics bharat ji simran ji industry ji global i'm really thankful to all these people and platform to having me here and it's such a wonderful uh, experience for my life so thank you so much for having me here and looking forward to more projects and more contribution towards the society thank you so much namaste first pleasure thank is always thank you very much sita for being here with us on our show bharat goradia ji for of course always being the brightest star and thank you to all our queens who changed the world one rhinestone at a time this is how we truly started with our lovely queen from singapore our uh, mrs bharat icon 2018 we'll see you in our next episode with another beauty queen taking you to yet another part of the world sorry taking you to yet another part of the world with yet another brilliant pageant beauty till then be the best version of yourself see you guys soon and do share this with all your loved ones do remember to hashtag us hashtag queens forever thank you love you all take care and god bless Good.